Okay, it's time to learn about tables in HTML. And again, we will skip over the video, the quiz, and I'm just going to jump into all right, the first activity. Just a reminder, um, the assignment tab gives you the directions. So it says in this exercise, you'll be making a table to show information about different countries' national sport. Uh, the given web page shows a table with three rows. The first row contains the table headers that describe which information should be in each column. The second and third rows contain information about an example country. All right, so we want to add three more countries' national sports. There's a link for reference. Um, there is a bonus here that I may actually do because I already have this done, so that'll be something to throw in to add extra columns to the table to describe more information about each sport. Um, each new column should have its own table header describing the information in that column. Um, so if you look at the output, um, I've already got this one done. Okay, so just a few things about tables. Okay, um, there are a few different elements we need to learn. So the first is the table element. Okay, much like HTML says, hey, everything contained in this element is HTML. When we want to make a table, we have to tell it, hey, we're making a table. Okay, so the table tag begins a table. And if we go down far enough, the closing table tag says, okay, I'm done with the table. Okay, inside of that, we then have rows. Okay, so a TR means, okay, I'm in a table, I want to make a row. And then the tags inside are either TH, which is a table heading, or TD, which is table data. The table headings typically go on the first row. There is another way to do it where you could just make the first item in each row the heading so that your table would be uh, set up differently. Uh, so, for example, if instead of all THs across, if I did TH and then I had Norway, you know, so on, you, you could kind of set it up uh, opposite side if that makes sense. Um, but, okay, with each thing I have an opening and closing. So I have my first row that is the heading, and then I have country, and then I close that heading. The next heading, national sport, close it. Open, close, and then I close that row and say, okay, I'm starting another row. And I move on, table data, table data, table data, close the row, new row, table data, table, and so on. So you can see how it kind of populates and fills. Um, so I went through and I did Norway, Brazil, USA, Japan, and Kenya. Um, really, it's just a matter of once you have your first row um, with your headings, you then have your next row. So really all you had to do, I think you were given Norway and Brazil and you had to add three more. You simply could have just copied from the opening TR to the closing TR, pasted it, and just change the content in between the TD tags. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, if I wanted to add another column, I would need to add something in each row. So let's just say if I did TH and I, let's just say I want to say, um, popularity. Okay, and I'm just going to rate it on a scale of one to five. And five would be most popular, one would not be. I know that makes not much sense. Okay, then I would go in for each country, so cross country skiing. Not sure how popular that is across the world, so I'm going to add an entry TD and I'm going to give that a, a one. Okay. Um, I am sadly, actually I've heard of cross country skiing, so I'll give it a two. Um, for Brazil, all right, let's give that a one. All right, I'm biased for baseball. It is played all over the, I know all of these sports are all over the world, but uh, we're gonna give baseball, it's trying to make a comeback. We're gonna give it a three. Pro wrestling, that is a no-brainer that that's going to be a five. Um, and then marathon running. Okay, uh, people all over the world run in marathons. That's pretty popular. 
Um, not a lot of people do it, but everybody knows what it is. Um, so let's give that um, a five as well, okay? And now that I have those set, if I reload, you can see now I have that extra column where I had my heading and then everything else was data and it matched up with the country and the sport. Okay. All right, the next exercise, uh, this one is very time consuming, but again, the trick with this one is to get it set up, as I call it, set up your skeleton and then just edit the content, okay? So using an HTML table, make a table that lists your favorite things for each day. Each day of the week will be a column in the table. The rows will be your favorite food, your favorite activity, favorite person to hang out with, favorite place to go. So here is the example, okay? Um, so copying that concept, okay? Again, we would want to say, okay, I'm creating a table, open, and then our closing table tag will be at the very bottom when we finish, down here. Okay, and within that, we then are gonna say, okay, well, we want our headings, and we're gonna create a row and then we're gonna have seven TH tags, one for each day of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're done with that row. Okay, and then what I did was I just said, okay, what am I having for breakfast on Sunday? Okay, Sunday I'm having eggs and grits. Monday, waffles. Tuesday, waffles. Wednesday, pancakes. You can see how each TD lines up with each TH. Thursday, bacon and eggs, Friday, oatmeal, Saturday, Cheerios, okay? Then what am I gonna do well, for my activities? Okay, again, it kind of lines up uh, with each day of the week. So Sunday, rest, Monday through Friday, work, Saturday, yard work, okay? Um, favorite person to hang out with, okay? Um, just kind of put my, my wife, my son, my daughter, just kind of uh, cycle through. I'm just said on Saturday, I, hey, I wanna spend some time in the yard. So um, again, you just kind of match that up and then your favorite place to go each day, okay? Things you might wanna do, um, you can just put something there. So notice the structure is exactly the same. Um, the exception is the first row we have THs. Uh, the next one, two, three, four rows each have seven TD tags and the content for a corresponding day is there, okay? So again, it is, uh, once you create your first one, uh, you kind of want to do that heading and then do your first row with the TD tags. At that point, you can just copy and paste that row set up and just change the content, and you don't have to keep typing all the tags. You can just update the content. Okay, so again, when you finish, um, this is what mine looks like. Okay. All right. So that uh, gives us all the green check marks and we are done with our lesson on tables.